What is up guys, Ecrib here, and I hope you're all having an amazing day today. So I ran a poll on Twitter yesterday, deciding what kind of story I should tell for this video. Uh, today is going to be how I almost lost my job. So if you guys didn't know, I am working a part-time job at a grocery store. Yeah, I know, whatever. Um, I'm in the deli department, so I cut people's meat and cheese. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know, people come from meat and cheese. Ha ha ha! Bruh. I'm going to play Call of Duty in a minute. Alright, so anyway, I probably started this job maybe around September, October. And, you know, I think it was when I first... Mother fucking dick! There's this one manager, I'm not gonna say her name, but she's very, she's very strict. What the fuck was that? Right next to the deli department, there's like hot foods, they make like, you know, soup, chicken, pizza, all that. And the one night I was closing, and they were thrown away. Mother Anyway, the hot foods department was, you know, closing up and everything, throwing away the food that didn't sell them, and they were throwing away the soup because, you know, it's poop. Oh my fucking god. They were throwing away the soup, and I told the one kid working over there, I said, yo, can you just, you know, save me, or save me a cup of that soup? Fuck! Aha! I'm terrible at sniping. So the kid that was working at hot foods saved me a cup of the soup, and, you know, I took it back in my department, I was eating it. And the manager peeks her head back into my department and she asks me and the kid I was working with some stupid question. And she sees me eating the soup and she's like, did you pay for that? And you know, I tried, you know, lying a little bit to play it off. And I was like, yeah, I did. And she's like, oh, when did you pay for it? And I said some BS like, oh yeah, around like, you know, six, or, no, 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 around like 7.30. She's like, oh, what, uh, what checkout line did you go through? I was like, um, self-checkout. And she asked me if I had the receipt, and I said, no, I threw it away. She's like, well, you need the receipt to show that you paid for it. And she's like, hey, well, then I guess I'll go check the cameras to see if you paid for it. And I was like, started panicking a little bit. I was like, you know what? I didn't pay for it. I lied. I'm sorry. I'll pay for it right now. She's like, nope. It's too late. It's too late for that. And she just left. So I'm standing there in awe, and the kid I'm working with is in awe, too. He's like, shit, you're fucked. And I'm like, well... Might as well enjoy the soup now, and I had like two more bites, and I couldn't even, I couldn't even finish it, because my appetite was f***ing gone, because, you know, she just ruined it. F so I threw the soup away. So then I finished, you know, I finished working, went home. I come in like the next day, and I get called back to, you know, the office and everything. And there's one of the managers and some lady that, you know, she, you know, high up or whatever. She's like, well, pretty much... It's like a fucking, like a, I don't even know what she is, but she pretty much gets paid to sit around and watch cameras all day. So she told me, they, they suspended me for a week, which is pretty much like a vacation for me because I didn't have to work at all. But she was going to go through the whole day's camera and follow me around the store. So they sent me home. I had to write a paper explaining what happened. And at the end of the paper, I had to put, I am willing to pay for the soup. And... And then I had to wait a week because they suspended me because they were they were investigating me pretty much. So they they call me back in a week later. No no no, the lady. Oh god, this is another lady that works there at the store. She said, uh, "All right, uh, we're gonna have to have to come in." And I was like, "What am I coming in for?" She's like, "Oh, don't worry, you still have your job." And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" She's like, "Yeah, just just come on in and uh, we'll give you your schedule." What? So then I go in and I'm there with the store manager. I'm not gonna say his name. And he says to me, I still can't believe you have your job. I was sitting there, I'm like, me too. Because the lady that caught me, she's so strict at the store, it's not even funny. But I just had to sign a paper saying I won't do it again. It was like my final warning. But uh, yeah, that's how I almost got fired from my job. Fuck you. So I'm gonna try to do another video, another story time, maybe in a couple days. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I was a little scared I was about to lose my job, but uh, it's a part-time job. What are you going to do? Oh, I got a gun. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all that bullshit. Links will be in the description. Don't forget to check out my team, Zetra. The link will also be in the description. But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Remember to stay beautiful.